Greetings, I'm back, and uh, we're gonna hunt him down one more time. Here's the gimmick with Elder Dragons. There will be two separate Elder Dragons mission for the one kind of Elder Dragon. They will constantly switch between two air, basically like two regions, if you will. You know, like hit with a Kashala Dora in this part, he will switch between the mountains and the jungle until you've actually killed them. It's not always these quests will pop up. The, I think the first Elder Dragon quest will just pop up always, and it'll always be there. But after you've killed him, then it'll just kind of be random if it pops up, so keep a knife on it. But in general, they'll have two different quests. And it counts as two different quests. You, As you can see... Well, okay, it doesn't show it right here, but if it had shown the other quest, it would say clear. But this one hasn't been cleared before. Even if it's not dead, you'll clear the quest. So you don't have to kill the dragon to actually, you know, complete it. So let's just quickly take a look at it. Alright. Vortex inside the downpour. Alright. And, uh, it's our old friend. Let's go, uh, hunt him down. This time around, I've taken a little bit better health items with me in the sense that I just kind of wanted to show them off. Like, the nutrients will increase my max amount of health a bit. But I brought something, but it doesn't, you know, give me my health back. Mega Potion will restore your health all the way, 100%, and it will increase your health all the way up. They're gonna give me the standard items, and lightning rods. Because it's raining here, I can use lightning rods. So, actually, I will get to show those off. I've actually been meaning to show them off, but I was kind of waiting to a certain point, but... Hell, they already gave me them here, so might as well. Just gonna grab some... Yummies? Or, well, I don't know how yummy a ration is. It's probably pretty disgusting. And, while I don't need to pelt him with... <laughs> poison throwing knives, I'll do it anyways, just because it's gonna be dealing damage to him over time. And you might be asking, well, why don't I bring poison smoke bombs with me? I've actually haven't had any luck with poison smoke bombs. Uh, they don't seem to work. And he also gets his own unique little intro right here, for some reason. As you can see, the tail's still chopped off, so it's the same one. Don't think he's happy to see me, ladies and gentlemen. But, let's paintball him, because I don't remember which areas he runs back and forth between. And... You know what? Why not? Poison knives. I actually got him with that one, I think. No, it doesn't look like it. Anyway. It's poison. And uh, lightning rods work like this. You place them on the ground, you do a dodge roll, automatically you place them, and then there's strikes lightning on the lightning rod. It was a little hard to see there, so I'm gonna wait till he's actually flying. Now, a little interesting note. If I... if he only had 10% health left... When he ran, just as an example, then he will have... Oh, he didn't hit with that. But then he will, in this mission, he will have 30% of his health. As you can see, lightning. Bam! Rather fun to use, actually. I quite like him. I should actually use him a little bit more off. Eh, you're not getting me. At least use him against things that are weak towards lightning. I think, the, like the Kushala Dara is. And as you can see... He just tosses me around like a rag doll instead of freezing me. Which, honestly, is an improvement. Oh, there! <laughs> uh, actually, I, I find it more amusing being tossed around like a rag doll than just being frozen. This being the, the being frozen bit is pretty annoying. Not sure why I'm doing so badly all of a sudden. Maybe it's just because I'm not taking him seriously. And 
there we go. We've gotta just be blowing him up with some gun lancing. And at least I get to throw not throw, but show every break off of him. So that's always nice. While I should also be focusing on doing some stabs instead of just gunning, I'm gonna focus on gunning because, well, it's actually a pretty powerful gun to do gunning. And it certainly is a lot easier. And it has a little bit more reach as well, so. And plus, you know, the whole it ignores armor thing is massive. Hey, guess what? You're on the ground now. That and, uh, they basically bounce off of a lot of parts of the Delora, so... <laughs> That's another reason why I prefer not to stick to uh, just stabbing. I mean, if I had a hammer, I would... Uh, or a greatsword, you know, you'd just be use, focusing on the charged attacks as always, but, you know, still. While I... While normally if I was just farming him and I wasn't doing a video capture, I, I just take my time. I wouldn't be trying to focus, like, say, using so much, uh, item uses, because, you know, we're saving the items. I'll be firing them more than enough times. But, you know, for the, for the sake of trying to make the video flow a little bit better, make it a little bit more interesting, I will be spamming the hell out of these flash bombs. But once the head is broken, generally I'll stop using flash bombs and items like that because I really don't need them. If I'm just doing it on my own time, I'm not in any rush. Ah, I'm terrible with these flash bombs. I think this is one of these areas where he just loves to charge around in circles. But he should almost be dead any minute now. Kind of hard to tell. Also, something else about the Elder Dragons. They will show no signs of weakness, and that's just because you cannot capture them. Traps will not work. Which is unfortunate. So, where is he going to go to? Is he going to go to four? Yeah, he's going to go four. Uh, let's see... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Eh, why not? Ration. And I still prefer fighting in this place, if only just because I don't have to use comp all these items to... not freeze. Don't need to think about hot drinks, cold drinks. Again, much easier place to fight in, in my opinion. Of course, this par place, well, it's a little dangerous when he charges in that narrow passage. Mainly, again, focusing on gunning, because, well, also I've, because I've gotten used to just spamming the gun lance shots with the uh, gunnery skill. Secondly, again, goes through armor, so I don't have to worry about the bouncing either. Do I have any flash bombs left? Yes. Yes, I do. Ah, the worst part is right now I've got the theme, the victory theme for the, uh, online Monster Hunter in my head, the victory theme. Because <laughs> uh, I watched a couple of uh, videos just for the heck of it, because... You know what, I, I would suggest... You know what, if you're into Monster Hunter and you can't really get into Frontier, watch some videos of it. 
the what they've done with a lot of the monsters is they've upgraded them. They've given them new attacks, you know, made them more multiplayer friendly, if you will. So, because they expect you always have a friend with you instead of you doing solo. So, as you can see, the horn's broken. The wings are broken. And, uh, the tail is probably stuck through the gr- yeah, part of his body's stuck in the ground, huh? <laughs> but, the tail's chopped off, too. So, all in all, I'd say this is a very successful run, and, um, this video has only been about 10 minutes long. And fighting-wise, I've probably been fighting him for like 6-7 minutes. If I hadn't been fooling around the starting, I probably could have cut it down in a few more minutes, but... Well, whatever. I think this was a pretty successful fight for the first Elder Dragon. I hope you enjoyed them, at least. Um, right now I'm kinda waiting on the loot, and I should kick the cat. Just for good measure. Ah, there we go. Kicking the cat. I felt good. Cat abuse. I'm kind of... I'm still angry at the cat, to be honest. <laughs> well, let's take a look at the loot. And as we can see, much better loot. We've got some Elder Dragon blood, which is nice. we got some scales. Lots of shells. Shells, Elder Dragon Bones. I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't get any wing drops from breaking the wings this time. And the cat's been busy mining. So, I guess I can always use the extra Macalite. So, um, I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed the, this, the first of many Elder Dragon hunts. See you next time.